Hey guys. So, uh, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to give you a little insight about how I've been thinking lately. And first I want to show you some of my meal prep stuff. I have my, I bring my own food now. Sorry if I'm a little tired, but I did want to make this video. I want to give you guys a little insight on how I think and maybe in hopes that it can help you guys. So I know that sometimes people feel very insecure about themselves and then they always compete, compare themselves to other people. Like, oh, you know, how come I'm not as good as this person? How come I'm not as uh, fit as this person? How come I'm not as smart as this person? Why am I not as good looking as, let's say, Jennifer Lopez? Whatever the case may be, right? And I've lived long enough to feel confident to tell you guys that if you guys do have this kind of thinking, it's completely negative. Here's the reason why, because it brings up that insecurity. There's only one person in my life that I compare myself to every single day. This woman is not a celebrity. She is not anybody famous, but I think about her a lot. You know, I think about her every single day. I focus on her. I check what she wears. I look at her. I look at photos of her. I, sometimes I feel insecure because I feel like, oh, I gotta be better than this woman. And this woman, like, I know what she eats every day. I know what she's doing every day. And I want to be better than her. And the only way I can be better than her is be better than her today. And in case you're wondering who this woman is, this woman is me from yesterday. This, I, I, choose, to, I choose to focus on myself directly because I find that when I focus on myself compare yesterday's Erica from today's Erica, it just brings more clarity in my life. I always have a book on me. This is my book. I actually have two notebooks now. Um, but this is one of the books that I have. And um, this is my 1% Better book. Every single day I write in this thing. I take responsibility for my life. Anything that I feel like I'm lacking goes in here. I chose to be stronger. And that is the reason why I put all my energy and focus into myself and improving the things that I want to do. For instance, the video. If you guys remember, before I used to stream a lot, I don't do that anymore. I do edited videos, I keep it short, simple, and direct, and I feel like you guys appreciate it a lot more. The other thing that I wanted to share that I think may be useful to you guys is that if you're feeling low in life, don't think so negatively of yourself. For me, I choose to think of myself like gold. And you guys are probably still like, gold, Erica, really sound full of yourself. No, hear, hear me out, okay? Gold has value. Gold is malleable. Gold is the most malleable metal out there. And I think it's also the most valuable. I, I know that there's people out there who will put yourself down. I would suggest to you guys, instead of continuing that cycle of putting yourself down, reframe it to the point that you know you have innate value within yourself because everybody does everybody has value within themselves even if you can't feel it you guys have value i think of it like this imagine yourself right imagine you have um value and even if you if you don't feel like your value is very strong trust me you guys have value okay imagine your value is like this small okay very tiny every single day when you work on yourself you can grow that bigger and bigger and bigger bigger it might be like Every day you work on yourself, you can grow that value bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And maybe some days you'll feel a little insecure and then it'll get smaller. But you know what? As long as you keep working at it, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And next thing you know, you, you're a person that just feels so valuable. You feel so confident and things like that. I think that true confidence is something that's built and nourished and it requires a lot of investment. Um, into oneself. I think that as humans, we owe it to ourselves to continually improve. And even if you're not exactly where you want to be, like, don't worry, you're going to get there. Um, I think for me, what I really value in life is my relations with others. Um, because I think people matter. People matter to me so much in life. Um, without people, I don't think life would be as sweet. I think everybody should work on themselves. And I'm not just talking about getting your hair done. Right? I'm talking on a deeper level. You know, focus on getting inner peace. Focus on your goals. Focus on connecting with people. Focus on whatever matters to you. And I think that's where you find happiness. So, today... Before I go to sleep, I'm going to be thinking about that woman, which is yesterday's Erica, 
And when I wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna be thinking about today's Erica, right? Which would be yesterday, tomorrow. I hope that this helps you guys. And if you feel insecure because you don't look like the person on a nice fancy magazine, don't envy those people. Because remember, they're one of a kind. But the other thing that you're forgetting is that you're one of a kind too. Yes, think about it. It might be hard for you guys to believe that. Maybe you guys have like negative feelings of negative self-worth or you think you're not good. But understand any celebrity at one point, unless they were born in a celebrity family, they were nobody. And these nobodies became a somebody because of the work that they put into themselves. Just something to think about, you guys. So I will talk to you guys later. I got to go home. I got to eat dinner. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these thoughts. And if you have any other thoughts to share, you know, anything that you think may help a person who is envious of other people. I will talk to you guys later. You guys take care.